Hey guys, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson. So we're looking uh, at helping the beginner tennis player out this week, going over the basics of some of the main shots. Today we're gonna look at the serve. We've got Mark here today. We're gonna pretend Mark doesn't know what he's doing out here and go ahead and help him with three really key ideas on the serve. The first being the stance, the second being the toss, and the third being his contact point, okay? Um, I wanna get started with this by reminding you guys that the serve, such a pivotal shot in tennis, and so long as you guys feel somewhat comfortable throwing a ball, whether it be a football, baseball, tennis ball, whatever it is, a decent throwing motion is very, very similar to a good service motion. So I actually tell a lot of my players who do not know how to really go out and have a good throw, um, that's great practice that doesn't require being on the tennis court. Getting used to, you know, using the body to throw a ball is, is really, really helpful with the serve, okay? So with that being said, um, what we wanna look at today first is stance. And in order to set Mark up, in order to be able to have somewhat of a throwing motion, we have to have the correct stance. And that would be, as a right-handed player, making sure that Mark's left foot sets up closer to the baseline than his right foot. And what I've always thought is that we want that front toe a little bit open. So I like the idea that if I point my left toe towards the post that holds up the net over on the right side, that's a really good starting position because if this front foot is really closed, it kind of locks the body and doesn't allow for this nice release of the hips and shoulders the way we're gonna need them to. So by kind of butterflying that foot open, it's gonna allow for more rotation. The back foot, or the right foot in this case, we would like that to be parallel to the baseline, okay? So his right toe is pointing more directly at me and his front foot is a little more open to the net cord, okay? One thing to be really careful with, you guys have some wiggle room with where to set this back foot. Mark could move it over behind him a little more, or he could line it up directly behind his front foot. The one position I do not want to see you beginners is having the right foot more to the outside of the court than the left foot. The problem here is Mark's now opened up his shoulders and his hips before contact and that's something we're trying to hold on to to have as, as an occurrence during contact, okay? So Mark, set the left foot forward, good. Right foot parallel to me, pretty comfortable? Good. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna get into toss. The toss tends to cause beginner tennis players the most trouble, not just in the serve, but almost in any element in tennis. And if you thought about it, a tennis ball weighs two ounces, okay? So it's not like it's heavy, it's not like it takes a lot of effort to get it lifted in the air, but for whatever reason, trying to be precise with where to put this thing causes a lot of people mental anguish. So a really good drill to practice to kind of take the focus off the toss being part of the serve is to just make the serve, the goal, or to make the toss the goal. So Mark, what I'm gonna have you do, we always toss out of our left hand, you guys. The racket's obviously holding the right hand. So what I would like Mark to do after he sets his stance is to try to toss the ball up, let it leave his hand just, just after his hand has passed his cap here, and see if he can produce a toss that goes up and lands on this racket head. And if you notice, I've got the handle of the racket on the baseline, which means the racket head is inside the court a little bit, and that's a really key idea. We don't want to be tossing the tennis ball behind the baseline where ultimately we'd have to reach back to hit it. So go ahead and practice a couple of these, Mark. And you guys can see if it's somewhere close, wow, great job, some sort of pro out here. If it's somewhere close for a beginner player, that might have been a little too far. But right and left of the racket head, even that's not bad. That's inside the court, a little bit short to the left. You know, somewhere around that, don't be too picky about it. The real concern would be if Mark tossed one up and it went behind his body here, something like that. That's a pretty alarming toss because it's not gonna set any of you beginners up 
for a consistent serve that's going to go into the court. So that's a great tossing drill. Now, to incorporate the feeling of hopefully this throwing motion with a good toss, here's another awesome drill for all you beginners. Mark's going to have two tennis balls. He's going to set his stance. His left hand is going to go through his tossing motion. Hopefully gets the ball high and in front of him. And then when that ball's in the air, he's going to go ahead and throw the other tennis ball up to the ball that's come out of his left hand. And this achieves a number of things. He's practicing his toss. He's practicing his throwing motion, which we're going to need once the racket's in his hand. And he's got kind of a heightened sense of concentration because it would be really cool if he could get the ball that he's throwing to hit the ball that he tosses. So Mark, let's go ahead and try this. Tosses up. Awesome. Let's go one more time. Left arm toss, right arm throw. Really cool. It's pretty hard to get the tennis balls to hit each other. If you guys do that, you probably don't need this video. Anyways, um, so now we've got the basics kind of covered. We know how to stand. We know how to toss. We know that we're looking for a throwing motion with the racket. So let's go ahead and put the racket in his hand. I don't want any of you beginners out there super worried about setting the way the pros do. The pros set here, even just you know, higher level players, 3-5-4-0 players set here. They drop down. You probably see this a lot. Pretty much all of you beginners out there, I just want you setting your arm into a throwing position, okay? If Mark was going to swap out the racket for a tennis ball and he was going to throw the ball, the elbow would be bent like this and the ball would be behind him. So let's go ahead and pretend the racket is something he's just going to throw. He's going to make sure the stance is solid. He goes ahead and tosses, and he just throws the racket up to the ball. Good. Let's see that again. Really, really good. So the okay. toss is obviously a huge key part of this, you guys. Make sure you're doing that toss practice with the racket down in front of you. Mark did a great job of making contact at a really good high point. What I want to kind of stress again that I see from a lot of beginners is a toss that barely comes out of the hand where beginner players are hitting serves with this elbow dropped and contact feels you know right next to my face. That's something where the, the ceiling on a serve like that is, is so low and there's just nothing you guys are going to ever do to, to have this be a weapon for you. It's going to really just get you in play which is not to me, a very fun way to play tennis. So practice those three elements. I think you guys will get from you know, a, a beginner serve into a more intermediate serve very quickly if you can hit on all those three points, OK? So thanks to Mark today. Hope that was really helpful for you guys. Please click like below this video. And if you happen to be watching on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks, and we'll see you soon.